So yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that I got to the mental point that I feel that I'm my body fat is too high. Um, currently at 215 pounds, fluctuating to one 215 to like 217, and yeah, dude, kind of kind of worries me a little bit. Feel fat, you know. I'm, I feel that I gained some muscle, but it's not. I don't know, dude. It's weird, right? Um, my mental, I don't know. It's kind of getting fucked. Feel fat. I don't know. Yeah, I just feel like any comment that before that didn't make any difference. Um. Or, or it didn't like hit me. It's kind of hitting me now because I feel fat. Um, all this extra fat that, that this is fucking physically just there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just tripping saying like, oh, I feel fat because my abs are not like showing that much. It's just I'm fat, bro. I just, I got this titty thing going under and this stomach thing and this back shit over here that I, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with that shit. I don't want to do. I don't. You know, I I, I I I I gained muscle. Okay, cool. I got bigger. People told me, yeah, you're bigger. Okay, so I felt that. Yeah, people told me I'm bigger. It's real. It's not in my fucking head, right? It's not in my head that I'm getting that I got bigger. Okay. When this current cycle testosterone should be. Not fairly easy. It's been fairly easy to eat all these calories. I got bigger. Cool. Mission accomplished. Yeah, I got fat. Cool. I get it. I'm fucked. I, I overdid the calories, but I still gained the muscle. And then catabolizing whenever you're on steroids. Hmm. It's kind of hard, right? If I'm already eating the protein that I need it, right? And I'm just exceeding on my calories because I have compulsive eating disorder or some shit like that. I don't know because I don't know where you get fucking tested about eating disorders. You sit in a line and fucking, hey, are you feel fat? Yeah, bitch, I feel fat. Uh, do you binge it because your girlfriend fucking fucks somebody else? It's like, yeah. Uh, or you're binging because you fuck somebody else besides your girlfriend and you're like, Tripping the fuck out, you don't want to like talk about it, or you can't talk about it because your girlfriend's not gonna be pretty happy. You bam, binge. I'm like, yo, that's what I'm saying. He, oh, I hear all these people saying like, I can't, I can't eat three thousand calories, bro. At three thousand calories, I'll be eating that shit in like, and I own my diet, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I was eating so fucking much, and I can. Eat so much in quantity. I don't know how to explain it to people. That even in the bulk, I was trying to eat once a day, bulking, bro, because because it was so easy to get calories anywhere. So easy get calories is just like, just let go. Um, and. Now, whenever I cut, I just go to a normal bodybuilding diet, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to break down to fucking sucking life. Because I come from this extreme, you know, kind of bingy way of eating my calories and my proteins. All right? No, that's wrong, but that's what worked for me because that's a way of binge eating and going to, like, satiate the the... the Thirst of binge eating, but I did it in a in a count the counted way, so I still hit maintenance calories and I still did my my workouts and my fucking cardio, my steps daily steps, and yeah, let me feel like it was easier. I was, you know, the scale was going up. People saying I'm fucking looking bigger, you know, and until I 
felt fat like right now I didn't want to cut because I felt that I was getting bigger and I wasn't feeling fat right now my waistline is fucking 40 bro that's insanely fucking big or well, at least for a striving person that you know thinks that he wants to be fit or he is fit or you want to keep this physical fitness going that's why you fucking consider yourself if you're not a fucking, you know, you don't have like 25 inch arms, bro. <clears throat> nah, let me fucking cut it to you. If you got a 40 inch waist, homie, you are fat, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want, you're not huge. So you got a big ass waist, nigga. That means that you're fucking fat. Cool. Being fat is not bad. Being fat that means that you can eat. Whenever you get bigger and bigger and bigger, this fucking eating thing is going to help you out to, you know, get bigger because people get fucking plateaued with them, with that fucking food. So what if you already decided that you increase your fucking dosages because you are like, you know, a steroid abuser because you're willing to fucking do that to gain the body that you, you know, think that you want or the physical form or let's say body composition that you fucking feel like I don't want to roll my heads up I feel right now that I'm big enough that I can wear clothing and I still look um you know big like muscular I need to look not impressive it's not that what I'm looking for I'm, I need to be a threat simple as that I need to look in clothing as a threat because that means that I can keep a certain respect and peace in the environment because people are abstaining themselves from doing certain things that could have causing problems and because I'm a threat to the environment puts out you know respect and that's my mindset I, I need to be ready for anything you know what I'm saying I'm programming I'm, I'm working towards these goals that I need. My goal is to have this, you know, I'm big, muscular, fast, fucking, I'm, yo, I'm a scary motherfucker. That's, that's, that's what I'm going for. I know I don't have the genetics to be a bodybuilder or to be a fitness influencer, but that's not what I'm doing here. I'm trying to just get stronger, evolve. That's it. That's all I care for. And this freaking channel, well, only thing matters right now is evolving. Boom. Going from one point to the other and making other people out there believe that they can evolve. Meaning that they can get leaner, richer, and more muscular. That's evolution for me. It's not meant that you were poor, fat, and fucking weak. You took that, and that's a lot of people. If that's not everybody out there besides like a far gang. I don't know what percentage because I don't do math shit. But let's put it as a fucking 1% of the population looks the way that they feel like they should be looking at. And right now, the way that I feel in my head that, that I look at myself and, and this is how I'm proud of, this is a way that I feel, okay, yeah, this is who I am and I, I want to be this person. I want to have this distraction in my head of the entire time. Yeah, I don't want to be like this. And I can actually just be. For me, it's like 225. You know, sub 10% body fat. Let's put it even up towards a 12 or 15% in the bulk part. Right now, I'm probably standing around 30 or 20 fucking 5 or something. So, my idea is to... Right now, yeah, I'm 215. I'm uh, lean out. Lean out means that I'm going to fucking drop my weight until I can see abs or all this other skin is thin as my forearms. Simple as that. And I'm thinking that if I'm 25% body fat, I should be around like 189, 195. Depending on, you know, how I really look after, like, taking all this glycogen shit out and this fucking extra water retention from all this body fat. So, you know, it's probably going to be around, like, 185 to 195. 
if I get down to 195 and I feel, yeah, I'm lean, all that shit is gone, I got separation going on, I look like an athletic build, you know, that's the, the, the aesthetics of it. You know, 195, I still have to gain another 25 pounds, 30 pounds to my goal weight or where I see myself because I still, this, this shape and form, I feel like I'm not muscular, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. I'm not, not, not even close to being muscular. I look like, an, um, <clears throat> I would probably say like an average fat guy. That's how I feel. I work myself from obese, skinny, <coughs> weak to an average fat guy. <coughs> and if I lean out, then I'm just going to look an average build person. Just, I'm just going to look average. And then from being average, I, I, I need to be muscular to, you know, think right. Be happy. Have the type of people that I want in my life. Attract the type of people that I want to attract in my life. Successful people that actually evolve, grow. It's not about, you know, me being in this apartment right now. For some people, this would be a shitty apartment. For some people, this would be uh, a great house. You know what I'm saying? Depending on, on, on your perspective of, of things. But for me, this is okay. This is not bad. Uh, I'm proud of this because... If I'm not proud of the things that I'm accomplishing right now, I'm not going to be proud in the future. But still, uh, it's not. It makes me feel insecure that if in 10 years I'm still in this situation, then then I'm doing something wrong. You know, I've been four years in this apartment, so I mean, it's time to step it up. I need to. I need to do something. And right now, I'm just like, just it's not going in circles, bro. But yeah, I've grown. I. I, I I I attacked head on my biggest problem that I had on a daily basis, my body. I I definitely look yo, not like a same person since you know people have seen me before, but in my in my head is not enough. I, I need to be who I want to be, who I admired, so I I know to myself that I can, you know, a, become who I want to be and then maybe after this you know state of physical shape uh, probably have more confidence and a lot of other things will be out of the way and the way I see it is mm, give me a sec yeah. Yeah. What I say is, <coughs> man, I, I I have a lot of things that I want to do, and I feel that the way my brain works, I can do and want to do a lot of different things at the same time. You know, I like this podcast thing, and I feel that. Improving my image and my, you know, say, economical status, let's put it this way, that you know, obviously is going to put me in a different type of social status, too. I will have certain access to other decisions and information. But if I, let's say today, right now, I'm 225, I'm mean. I feel proud. Um, I I have the the financial stability to do the things that I need done. Um, taking care of my family, you know, providing for them. When I mean my family, will be my son, their my son's family, um, my mother. Um, my brothers, helping them out would be like, in my head, be, you know, they're broke, getting them a house, a car, um, paying for vacations, 
sending them gifts, being there because I can travel, because I have money, I can be there, no problem. Um, at the same time, I'm successful in whatever I'm endeavoring in the moment. It could be, you know, with the public specifically, or it could be in my musical career. I could be touring as a musician and and being there for all these people and helping people out and and having all this to offer to to the world is is what I feel that is my purpose. Because I, I can I can be in the public eye by playing this instrument by interviewing people, by talking, having conversations with them, by having a, a, a presence, uh, some type of social media, of what this is going to grow in the next 10, 15 years. And I feel me having that body, me having that money, me having that character, that, that, that what I did with the body, what I did with the money type shit, you know. Anybody's going to be around me. They see my family thriving, abundance, you know, structure, happiness. And, and that structure will make us be, uh, make us able to react differently to the daily problems that is still going to be there. You know, are you happy with your marriage or are you happy with your family and your relationships and all this shit? But, you know, all these problems is going to show us how to, you know, grow. And, you know, it started from me feeling fat in this video. But it's not about the fat. It's, it's about the, the deeper problem that people face on a daily basis that is just facing an opportunity to grow and then just seeing it as a problem. Okay? So it's like some people look the mirror and say, I'm fat, fuck it. And then they let go. But if you train your brain to see the moment that you get fat, that you're already working towards your goals. And you're using this, you know, getting fat kind of to your advantage as a bulking. And instead of saying, hey, fuck, I'm going to stop going to the gym. I'm going to stop fucking dieting or whatever. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want with no plan. It's planning. Not planning is planning to fail. It's just it's crazy. So I see this moment that I got fat as an opportunity to retrain my body to every time that I have a moment that is uh, a problem is actually an opportunity to seize the moment to actually to step in the right direction is just a notification on what you need to do to actually be where you want to be to be aligned with this path of what what you think is, is is right or what you want for your life and I feel what I want for my life is to wake up on a day that I help all these people and and I and then I show my love through through help it could be money it could be influence it could be presence it could be all kinds of shit that I want to just grow to my advantage and used to help other people. And I think by helping other people, I will have all my shit in game because I have to be so spotless to be actually able to do all these things that I strive, that I want the opportunities, that are actual problems that I'm assuming, responsibilities, to pay their bills, to be there for them, to, to, to have an actual right mindset to actually be able to guide them through whatever they want to do in life and and I think if I don't do certain things then I my brain gets 
wired to just not doing the others when it comes to other things instead of having the discipline to keep a, a pattern of behavior that is actually in line with my path instead of just, you know, self-sabotaging. And, you know, people out there, man, they, 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 they need some help, man. We're all linked together by the same frequency of state of mind. I see all these people. They're like me. It's because I attract that type of people to, towards my life because that's who I am right now. And that's an opportunity too. So I live the suffering. It seizes in my eyes. And you don't have to so say or do anything. He'll be open with you because he's talking to himself. He's talking to somebody just like you. But after you train your brain to see these opportunities that people call problems as a challenge to actually be readier next time, you can actually be the person that gives some light this moment of, of suffering and, and, and pain. Because whenever I'm in suffering and pain, bro, just, yeah, I don't want to listen to nobody, but whenever somebody says something, it's, this actually sticks. Yeah, dude, it's it has a big difference next day, you know. Fucking 10, 20 years from now, there'll be a difference. In the same way that these people are in my life, a difference. Um, I, I want to help people out, and this is what I'm posting this video is in the, in, in, in the best way. It'll be, I'm helping myself, you know, by, by actually keeping myself accountable and, and having goals, bro, keeping myself on the go. I don't feel, I don't like how my fucking body looks. Boom. Drop down fucking 25 pounds, homie. What the fuck you got to do? You do it. And then that fucking mind state of doing it. Going through it because you believe that this shit works because it's your fucking plan and you're going at it. Then other things are going to come in the same fucking form. You'll see an idea, a person, <laughs> a connection with somebody that's going to take you to the actual person that you need. And that's how you got there because you fucking were ready, man, mentally and physically and everything. Everything was on fucking, all the ducks went online, bro. You got to go. You got to do it. People are going to think I'm crazy. Okay, cool. Sometimes I think I'm crazy myself too. But when I see the shit that I do, bro, when, I, when people react to when I'm playing, when my son see my face and see the fucking people reacting and he's fucking lighting up and he want to do it. That thing has, yo, has meaning. And that's because I admire something. And some fucking how I did this plan of going through it. So, guys, please hit me up in the comments. This is a different type of video. It's not humor. It's just more about realistically life goals and... Now you got to see your problems, dude. You got to face them head forward. So if I feel fat, bro, I make a fucking video showing myself how fat I feel and how it really is and what I'm going to do. And then whenever I see the results and bam, the fucking episodes from leaning from the la leaner, leaner than the last time, um, you see that fucking boom, 195 or whatever weight, but don't matter what the weight is in the scale, it's just, just the composition. Dude. You're going to be like, okay, this motherfucker knows what the fuck he's talking about. And whenever I talk about anything else, it's going to be as good as done. You know, because right now I don't, I don't have the following, but I have some people listening to me. So that's some people I'm going to make the fucking life different. 
And I'm on boom. I made the world better, bro. So and that's gonna give me this sense of purpose. No matter what type of fucked up shit I'm doing or the vices that I partake on because I'm weak now, those vices in the future are gonna be the opening to people looking in my eyes and seeing the same suffering that they're going through, opening up and helping the fucking line, bro. Cause I can't I can't just sit here and believe that this is all I got. Just an apartment, a son with my ex wife. And bills and drug addictions and nothing else because I fuck everything else that I touch because of my fucked up mindset. Can't see the fucking, I just can't see it. So I'm being accountable, fucking manning up, talking to the goddamn internet. What the fuck is really happening? And this is the solution, being accountable, bro. See me what the name of this fucking podcast then later on, please.